Hey everyone, so today we're going to be doing a collective haul and I have a ton of stuff that's been accumulating like over the last couple weeks so I want to go ahead and jump right into it. I have all different kinds of things, um, Victoria's Secret, Ulta, Sephora, online, like <laughs> you name it, it's in here. So I guess I'll start with what's in front of me and it's two MAC lipsticks. I went to MAC with the intention not to buy these lipsticks and I ended up with them. So the first one is Hue and it's a glaze. It's just a very nude pinky color, um, super sheer. You really have to apply a lot of it to build any kind of color. As you can see, they're very sheer. But I like it a lot. If you put a really you know pink nude lip gloss over it, it looks really pretty on. The next one is Viva Glam Cindy, and it's a luster, and it's a red color. It's what I'm wearing right now. I really like this. I don't own any red lipsticks, and again, that's intensified because it goes on very sheer. Um, I was really hesitant to buy it but because it can turn a little orange if you're not careful, but I really like it, and I'm glad I purchased it. The next thing, let's see, Sephora. First thing from Sephora is a nail polish. Of course, I can never go anywhere without buying nail polishes. And this is um, Sephora by OPI. How cute is that? Can't even see the name. But it's just like a um, pinky champagne color. The next thing I got, now this doesn't look like much. This is the Too Faced Glamour to Go kit. And um, it looks really small, but you'd be surprised what is packed in here. It has eight different color eyeshadows. And they're very pretty, very pigmented. There's just two of them right there. And, you know, I really like them a lot. This was a little bit pricey, but for what you get, you can't really beat it. Now, you think that's all you get, but then you open the bottom here, and it comes with four lip colors and a blush. So, I haven't used the lip colors, but the blush is really pretty. I'm glad I got this. It's, it was really cute. And it was $18, so actually it wasn't that bad of a deal. <laughs> and then um, next I got Rose, the Smith Lip Balm in, in Minted Rose. And it just looks like that. It's very opaque. There's no, um, very clear, there's no color to it much. But Smoky Pink Leopard talks about this all the time, so I wanted to give it a try. And it's very moisturizing, and it smells just like mint. Very good. I like it a lot. That's all I got from Sephora. The next two things I got were from Victoria's Secret. And these are the mini pink with a splash. This one's pretty and pure, and this one's sunny and happy. And these are only $6, but they smell so fruity and so good. They remind me of summer, and I love them. So I picked those up. Next are some things I'm super excited about. This is like the first things that I've ordered online from their website, and that's NYX products. So I got seven items. So the first three are cream blushes. This first one is a cream blush. It's this color here, and this is in the color 05 Glow. And um, this color is so pigmented. Like, it was hard to pick out colors off of the website. It's there, right there. You see how crazy pigmented that is? because I wasn't sure what colors were going to look best and stuff, and this was such a pretty color on the website, and it's really pretty in person, too. It's just super, super bright. Of course, when you blend it out, I mean, you know, it can get a little bit less intense. It's just these blushes definitely go a long, long way. Like, I don't think I'll ever have to buy more blushes <laughs> from them, at least. The next one I got is in 01 Rose Petal. And it's um, kind of like, this is the one that matched close, the most close to Lady Blush from MAC, which I also own. So there it is there. And again, these can be very sheared out. I'm wearing this one. This is in um, number 11 Boho Chic. And it's actually really, really pretty. I'm wearing it right now with another blush on top of it. And it's not... Too bad. This one has a lot of shimmer in it, so if you don't like shimmer, it's not for you. But it's like the lightest pink out of the out of the three of them. So it's really pretty. And I applied it with a stippling brush. That's why it looks like all weird like that. <laughs> and then I got two regular blushes from them. The first one is in 03 Angel. And it's really just like a dusty, a dusty pink color. It's super pretty. 
and again these are really pigmented too like I don't know can you see how pigmented that is and that was just like one swipe and I mean they show up crazy like they have a lot of fallout that's the one thing I could say I don't like about them this one is in 05 pinky and this one is like bright bright pink <laughs> like I don't think I own well maybe I have one that's this bright pink but I mean you literally like can make it so bright pink it's crazy like I think this would look super pretty on people who have really really light skin because I'm wearing this over the um, boho chic and you can tell it's like very pink very pink and I like it a lot it's just really intense <laughs> like I don't think I was expecting this much pigmentation from them but you know it's a good deal <laughs> the next thing I got was a pigment and this is in golden peach I don't know if can you guys read that number 43 and it's really just like a I honestly thought it was going to be more of a peachy color it looks like a brownish peachy color but it's really pretty I like it of course you know it has a lot of fallout it works like a pigment so <laughs> that was cool but the last thing I got from NYX is the lip lacquer and this is in the color 04 Georgia peach and these are okay I wasn't that impressed with them because for one I had to put my fingers so far down in there and they're kind of sticky so I don't know that I'll be repurchasing one of these. It was okay though. Definitely like the blushes and the pigments though. Those were a great buy. Very happy with them. So next I have two things that I was honestly a little disappointed in. And they, they're the huge lips, skinny hips. And um, the reason I have two is because I bought this one. This, was in, this one is in Love Your Thighs. And then this one I got free with like the whole U-Haul promotion thing. And it's in no panty line. So I'm not very impressed with these because, first off, the price point. One of them is $25. I just got lucky because I got two for $25 plus no shipping. Normally shipping's like $8 and one's $25. So technically you're paying $33 for one lip gloss. And it wasn't that great. Like you can't really feel, I'm wearing this one over the Viva Glam Cindy. And I don't know. I just... <laughs> I'm just not a huge, huge fan. Like, the color's really sheer. Like, it looks dark there, but when you put it on your lips, it's super sheer. And I don't know. I mean, they're okay. You know, not to say that I wouldn't buy another one. Maybe if it was a lower price. That's all I have to say about this. <laughs> um, let's see. Next, I have Ulta. And the first thing I got was a perfume by Sarah Jessica Parker. This is her NYC. And I got just the medium size. This was $35. And I was unsure about this because I really love the way it smells. But mm, it smells good. But everyone was saying it was bad because it came out of the package and was kind of cheaply made. But whatever. I like it. Plus, when you bought this, you get one of these um, tote bags for free. So I got the pink one, of course. And it's just like a travel bag. It has wheels on it. You know, they had a turquoise and a gray or white one or something like that. So I just picked up that because it was free. And let's see. The next thing I got from Ulta, Maybelline was having a buy two, get one free. So I bought the Dream Map Mousse. This is in Classic Ivory in light number two. And I don't know how well I like it. It's okay. It applies very smoothly if you apply it with your fingers. But as you can see, I've applied it with my um, stippling brush. So it doesn't apply as smoothly like that. So I'm trying to work with it and see, you know, how I can get a better coverage and stuff like that. Um, the next two things I got were the Dream Mousse blushes. I got Rose Petal number 25 and Soft Plum. These are the two colors next to each other. They almost look really identical, like on camera. But when you look at them, the... Uh, plum obviously is darker. So the next things I got from Ulta are nail polishes. Like I said, I'm nail polish obsessed. <laughs> um, OPI came out with a new collection, the Swiss collection I believe is what it is, and I picked up two polishes from that. This one is Glitzerland, and it's just a gold color. I don't own any gold nail polishes, so I'm super, super excited about this one. This is Ski Teal We Drop. And it's just like a dark, it almost looks like a dark blue on camera, but it's really like a navy teal color, if that makes sense. It's really pretty. Great fall color. Can't wait to wear that one. 
And if, oh, if you're wondering what's on my nails, this is Essie's Lapis of Luxury. It was the one color in my nail polish haul that I was like, ooh, it's so unique and I love it. It is definitely unique. Um, so then when you spent, I think, $10 on OPI, you got this for free. And this is the Couture Color Mini Nail Polishes. And it looks like that. They're just like gold, burgundy, and a deep purple. And it's Brisbane Brawn, Bogata Blackberry, Black Cherry Chutney weird names I tell you <laughs> but they're really pretty good fall colors so can't wait to use that and again it was free can't be that either next to last is forever 21 I just picked up um, accessories and I picked up three headbands actually I have a black one these were only a dollar fifty but the black one's not here obviously so I picked up those three and then I picked up these little I don't know what are these called Bobby pin type Brett things. These were $2.50. They're super cute. And then I picked up this ring. And it's one of those two finger rings. And this was $3.80 I think. But super cute. It has hearts on it. I like it a lot. Last but not least. Oh no. I have one more thing after this. I wanted to show you guys something. I bought some color fill. And this is to put in my vases where I put my brushes. And I know a lot of people wonder about this stuff because I did. And this is the brand that I use. And I got it from Michael's Craft Store. Or you can get it on the Colorful website. That's the name. But it's a little bit more expensive online. It's like $6 at Michael's. So I wanted to show you guys that. So the very last thing that I bought was books. And I had actually seen Makeup by Tiffany D and Legally Brunette 2 and 4 talking about these um, on their one of their favorites videos. And I had to run out and get them because I love the show. And that's a Pretty Little Liar series. So this is actually like the combo pack or whatever. It has the first four books in it. And the first one's by my bedside because I'm almost done reading it. Um, but I love the little Pretty Little Liar series. So... I wanted to get the book, and so far the book's very, very good. So I picked up this one just because it was cheaper. And then the next ones they didn't have in like a combo pack or whatever, so I just bought them. And it's these three. And then the very last one they didn't have it in paperback, so I didn't buy it because it was kind of pricey. But it's going to take me a little while to get through those anyway because I don't read all the time, so that was okay. And then I also picked up this one, um, The Short Second Life of Brie Tanner, and I know I'm kind of late on this, but I love the Twilight Saga, so, or uh, this Twilight series, so I wanted to pick up this and see what it was all about. This one was kind of pricey, too. <laughs> so, that was my whole entire haul. I'm glad you guys stuck through this with me. I know you guys like watching haul videos. I'm not trying to brag or anything. This was over, like, weeks. I've just been collecting this stuff so I can show you everything that I got. Sorry it was such a long video, but thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!